Hi folks, um, today uh, what I want to have a look at is uh, basically uh, a problem I've got with this uh, Nilex digital rain meter. Um, this one in Australia is, comes under model 719011 um, and what I'm finding is basically the rain gauge is not registering. We've had rain um, but none of it is actually showing up in my rain meter. Um, I have changed the batteries in the outside unit and this inside unit um, and we can see basically that the second line from the bottom that says out um, is registering temperature so um, we know that part is working so there's obviously something up with the gauge itself um, so let's go in and have a look okay so here we've got the outside um, monitor um, doing the temperature and of course hopefully the rain gauge. I've got it secured at uh, one and a half meters above the ground as suggested in the manual. Um, first thing I always do is have a look in the top basically to see if there's any debris or anything um, you know blocking any water going in which obviously is going to cause a problem. It looks clear at the moment so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this off the rod and bring it inside to have a good look. Okay, so here we have the unit, um, both units together indoors. Um, and you might notice now the rain um, gauge is showing 0.7. Um, basically the way it works inside the uh, rain gauge unit, it has a rocker switch. Um, and when each side of it fills up with water, it rocks over to the other side um, and ticks over. I think it's point something. Yeah, I'm not sure the actual measurement. Um, and that's how it basically accumulates the rain. So let's see if we can open this unit up and see what it looks like inside. Okay, so we've now got the external rain gauge here. Um, what I do is, and it can be a bit stiff, but you basically just turn the blue part uh, anti-clockwise and it comes away quite readily. Um, and let's have a look to see what we've got inside. Whoops, sorry about that noise. Okay, not looking very clean. Um, and that's obviously why things are not working very well. Um, so we're going to give that a bit of a clean out um, and basically see if we can resolve that. So I'm just using a light running tap. Um, I've just gone through and basically cleared some of the worst things off the rocker here just to get the big bits out. Um, obviously a lot of spider webs and stuff going on here as well. Um, so I'll get in there with a bit of a damp cloth and clear that out. So, but that's very much uh, an obvious reason for this not to be working. Um, but as you can see basically it rocks from side to side. When, we, when each side fills up it weighs down, dumps the water out the side and then the other side start filling up and each time it rocks is obviously a measured amount, which then registers on the digital readout. Quite a clever design. And if you live in Australia, just watch out for any wildlife you might find along the way. I can see the culprit now, basically, um, who's basically been building uh, webs and the like in here and stop the unit from working. So we're going to have to gently evict this guy out of here. Um, and get them to go and live someplace else. Okay, well it's always nice when a mystery is solved. Um, I was just wondering why it was uh, such a short period of time between uh, this working perfectly and not so much. So, uh, problem solved. Well done. Okay, so we've given the unit pretty much a clean. Um, now, if you're not familiar, the uh, batteries are stored under here. Uh, four size C. Um, the, there's a couple of screws there, well, sorry, one Phillips head screw um, you need to undo to uh, change those batteries. Um, and once the battery is in, there is a little button there, reset button, which you must press after each time you change the batteries. Okay, so I haven't got any further as far as removing the bottom of the unit. I don't think it's necessary. Um, everything else should be quite okay. Um, we also need to go ahead and check the actual funnel itself um, just to make sure it's all free and clear. Okay, I'll just give that a clean up basically to remove the dust and anything else that can accumulate nasties um, inside, which might 
um, inhibit the workings of the unit. Um, during the process, obviously, we've had a very remarkable amount of rain, 14.5 uh, mil, um, which is obviously due to us moving that rocket backwards and forwards consistently. So, um, if I move the rocket once, might answer a question actually. Um, okay, move it across. Okay, and there it is. Um, basically, it does 0.2 mil um, every time the rocket goes across. Okay, so two mil of uh, rain in each side of that rocker. Okay, let's put the unit back together and uh, see how we look. Okay, and there's the funnel unit, basically given a bit of a rinse. Um, I started drying it, I thought, why am I drying a rain gauge? And it's going to be raining soon. So anyway, the things we do. Um, okay, so basically each one of these lugs you see here um, should basically slide underneath one of these here. So, if you just position that anywhere along there basically um, and when you turn it uh, clockwise it should lock into position so we're ready to reassemble and wait for the next rain okay one rain gauge back in CT all clean spick and span and the road test well I could get some water and tip it in there but hey I think we are due for some rain so uh yeah let's see what happens thanks for watching and have a great day